Hello and welcome to another video. So in this tutorial we will be taking a look at a program that accepts three numbers from the user and finds the one that is the smallest among them. So there is not much to explain here, there is nothing much going on. So let us take a look at the program code right away. So here you can see we are uh, taking three numbers A, B and C as input using the scanner class. So in this program we have taken the value of the scanner class uh, that is the object of the scanner class as scan. You can take any other object uh, whatever you want it doesn't really matter. So in this program scan happens to be the object of the scanner class and in the next line we are just uh, printing an output statement that reads enter the three numbers and after that one by one we are taking the values of a, b and c using scan.nextint. So as a, b and c are integer figures, integer values, we are taking the values of a, b and c using the next in command. So now comes the, the logical part of the program. So if a is less than b and a is less than c, then we are assuming that the first number to be the smallest one. Now if b is less than c, that is, it is already implied here that b is a, less than a. We are checking to ensure that b is also less than c. If b is less than c, then the second number is the smallest one. Otherwise, if if all all these checks fail, then the only check that remains is c. So if a is less than b and a is less than c, a is said to be the smallest number. If b is less than c, then it is said said to be the smallest number. And if both these conditions fail, so the obvious conclusion is that c is the smallest number. That is the third number in the series is the smallest one. So let us run the program once again and check what happens. I am entering uh, 3, 2 and 1. So here it says the third number is the smallest. So I hope it's clear to everybody. And this concludes this tutorial.